In this video, we will discuss about the important viva questions and answers that is related to the study the kinetics of the reaction between potassium persulfate and potassium iodide. We will discuss the important viva questions and answers. The first question explain the theory of this experiment. The experiment theory na explain maadi anta keltare. Okay, the theory is the reaction between K2S2O8 that is potassium persulfate and Ki that is potassium iodide. In reaction agate K2S2O8 plus 2Ki which gives 2K2SO4 plus I2. Or second possible reaction is S2O8 2 minus it is in the ionic form plus 2I minus. It is also in the I form which gives 2SO4 2 minus plus I2. Okay, it is found to be second order uh, reaction. Okay, you know, water form of the chemical kinetics is second order reaction. The first stage of the reaction is probably a bimolecular slow stage. Literally, first step in agate slow step, second step faster. First step in agate in the first step. S2O8 2 minus plus I minus which gives S2O8 I overall charge is 3 minus. Okay, this is slowest step followed by the rapid decomposition of triply charged anion. Okay, this is uh, triply charged anion. Then in the next step, rapid decomposition. Rapid other it is fast step. Okay, S2O8 I overall charge is 3 minus. It undergoes decomposition and forms I2 plus 2SO4 2 minus. This is first step. Okay, first step. Since the reaction is followed with liberation of iodine, okay, during this process, iodine liberate the progress of reaction can be followed by titrating the liberated iodine with standard Na2. S2O3 solution that is sodium thiosulfate solution using starch solution as the indicator. And the, uh, during this reaction, in liberation agate, iodine liberation agate, titration marti versus standard thio, sodium thiosulfate solution. Standard sodium thiosulfate solution using starch as indicator. The titer value at any time will be proportional to the amount of I2 liberated. Nam reading parthala, the yavdeke directly proportional kirte amount of I2 liberated. That is to the amount of uh, Ki oxidized or the amount of K2H2O8 used up in the oxidation. This is about the theory of the this experiment. What is the ionic strength? This is a second question. The ionic strength of a solution is the measure of concentration of the ions in the solution. The concentration of the ions in the solution is the is something about ionic strength. Ionic compounds when dissolved in the water, it undergoes dissociation and forms ions. The total electrolyte concentration in the solution will affect the important properties such as dissociation constant or the solubility of different salts. The ionic strength plays an important role in the Debye-Ackel theory. Okay, ionic strength and no simple it is a measure of concentration of the ions in the solution. It's called ionic strength. It plays important role in the Debye-Ackel theory. Debye-Ackel theory again already a video upload model. You can watch. Okay, this is about ionic strength. Next question: What is the order of reaction? The sum of concentration of reactants. The sum of power of mm, concentration of the reactants in the rate law expression is called order of the reaction the sum of power of concentration of the reactants in the rate law expression is called order of the reaction if the overall order is 2 then it is called second order reaction next question what is the effect of ionic strength on rate constant what is the effect of ionic strength on rate constant you know? The increase in the ionic strength increases the rate constant for a reaction between ions of same charge. Okay, decreases it with it when the ions are oppositely charged. Okay, it's a um, rate constant. 
effect mode the increase in the ion strength increase the rate constant for reaction between the ions of the same charge and decreases decrease agutte okay it uh, when the ions are oppositely charged okay this is the effect of ionic strength on a rate constant next what is bronze state zerum equation the relationship between ionic strength and rate constant is given by the bronze state zerum equation that is log k is equal to log k naught plus z a into z b into root i in kelo book alli 1.02 into z a into z b into root i idre both are same because ni one in the multiplication madre ide term barutte okay where k naught uh, is nothing but rate constant at infinite dilution Uh, K and then experimental rate constant at some specified ionic strength. Z A and Z B are the charges on the reacting species uh, that is A and B. These are the ions. The equation gives the effect of ionic strength on reaction rate. Okay, this is uh, bronze state zerum equation. This is log K and then experimental rate constant value. K not and then rate constant at infinite dilution. Uh, I and then ionic uh, strength. Z A and Z B are the charges on the reacting species of A and B. These are the ions. Okay, this is about Bronsted Zerum equation. If Z A and Z B are both positive or negative, then K will increase with I. Okay, it will decrease if only the one of Z values is negative. It will remain unaffected if one of the reacting species is uncharged. Okay, these are uh, factors affecting. the primary salt is described by the bronsted zerum equation okay next what is primary salt effect the effect of ionic strength on the rate constant of non catalytic ionic reaction is called primary salt effect non catalytic ionic reaction idre nam en kelthivi we are calling as a primary salt effect catalytic uh, reaction idre then it is called secondary salt effect means the effect of actual change in the concentration of reacting ions by the addition of catalytic electrolytes on the rate of reaction is called secondary salt effect thank you